Laura Grace Sprinkle. It's hard to imagine that God had this all in store for us. A journey I could only dream of. Alan, there's nothing I've hoped for, prayed about, or looked forward to more than this day and this moment. I don't think either of us could have fully grasped the joy we'd be feeling as we stand here today in an incredible place, surrounded by people who mean the world to us. Friends, we are gathered here today in the presence of God and of these witnesses to join this man and this woman together as husband and wife. Weddings are not just social occasions with some religious significance. This is a service of worship. And so God is with us and he's honored by this time. Alan's a person everyone wants to be around. From the first few months of them dating, he'd spend hours hanging with our family. I still remember the first spring break that they were dating and he spent almost every single day with our family and I think that's when we realized he actually wasn't going anywhere. And I also think from that point forward was when mom started calling him her sixth child. Finding you in this big world in probably one of the smallest high schools is by far one of the biggest oxymorons. I remember the first time I saw you and it wasn't just a first glance, I was smitten. I know that neither of us could have ever imagined what our lives look like right now because God has blessed us beyond our wildest dreams. However, I do know that we spent countless hours dreaming of this day, knowing that it's the culmination of five years of growth and commitment together. I prayed for my perfect partner far before I ever met you, and that is why when I met you, I knew it was different. There was a sense of peace I never felt before when I started dating you. Gosh, <laughs> Whoa, this is perfect. <laughs> Can I see the back? Yeah. Oh my God. That's beautiful. Yeah. You look amazing. This looks really good, yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I feel like I look good. Yeah, yeah. you look hot. Snazzy. Mm -hmm. You look beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Read it. Putting your in here. <laughs> Father, we're thankful that you've called Laura and Alan together that this is not a, an accident or just happened by chance, but that long ago, even longer than years ago together in school, you've uh, united them and called them to be husband and wife. I've watched Laura throughout their relationship and it's clear how happy Alan makes her. Every time she answers the phone or sees him in person, she gets this smile on her face that is so genuine and happy. It didn't take long for us to tie our hearts to each other. The smiles you gave me, the warmth of your thoughts and happiness in your eyes when I hugged you was such a satisfying feeling. I became addicted on loving you. Here we are, almost five years later, and Daniel has brought more joy to my life than I could have ever known. You stir up the adventurous side of me, the easygoing side of me, and the hopeful side of me, and those values make me a better person. I promise to be your protector, your comforter when things get crazy. I promise to be someone you can rely on, someone you can always count on to be by your side. I promise to be your personal chef, whether that's breakfast in bed or a full cookout with the family. And the beautiful thing about marriage is that you carry the load of life together, which means his problems are now your problems and your problems are now his problems. You belong to one another and you have all these problems and marriage gets beautiful when you don't play tug of war but instead get on the same side of the rope and pull the burden together because you have someone with you. And what a better picture of Christianity do we have? That we don't have a God who looks down on us and says, man, what a load of sin you guys have on your shoulders. That must be hard. Here's a way you could figure that out. No, he comes and he takes the load for us. I promise to pursue you with an unconditional love for you, even if it ultimately comes up short. And I promise to point you towards the perfect unconditional love that God has for each of us. I promise to support you in every path that He leads you down, knowing that God has big plans in store for you and I. So, Alan, repeat after me. I, Alan, take you, Laura, to be my wife. I, Alan, take you, Laura, to be my wife. I do promise and covenant with you and with God before these witnesses to be your loving and faithful husband. I, Laura, take you, Alan, to be my husband, and I do promise and covenant with you and with God before these witnesses to be your loving and faithful wife. Finally, I promise to always push 
you towards Christ, to love you like Christ loves us, and to make a home that brings glory to God. Laura, I'm looking forward to this next chapter in our life, traveling to the unknown, planning, well, actually, supporting your planning on our future, <laughs> building a family together. I know you are going to be a wonderful mother. I'm thankful for every day you get to be in my life and I get to be in yours. Here's to the endless joy we have in God and find in each other and our boundless love that's only just the beginning. It is a gift from God that my love for you can, con can continue to grow and then I get to be your wife. I love you. These rings and these vows that have just been taken will every day for the rest of these two's lives remind them of Christ and the ways that He has loved them and the ways that He's promised to never leave them or forsake them. By the power given to me as a minister in the Church of Christ and according to the Law of State, I now declare that Alan and Laura are now husband and wife. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Alan, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to present to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Alan Bruce. Laura is the peacemaker, the planner. She cares deeply about others and has so much vision and purpose for life. Alan's the dreamer, the person everyone wants to be friends with, the life of the party, and the decision maker. And together, they make an amazing pair. Uh, I've known Alan for going on roughly uh, six years. Alan, I don't know how, how to say this, but you mean a whole lot to me. I wouldn't be the man I am today if it wasn't for you and your impact on my life. I wish you and Laura nothing but the best in your future marriage. Laura and Alan are two amazing people, and it seems almost impossible to sum up just how much they mean to me. Laura has been my best friend for life, and Alan's the best friend that I wasn't so sure I needed at first, but now I can't imagine life without. Today has been the most incredible day, and beyond thankful for you both. I love you so much, and I'm so excited for you and this new journey of life.